Welcome to the Rusted Garden. It's Memorial Day weekend and I want to talk to you about prevention. Prevent insect damage, prevent diseases, and the way you do that is to keep a journal. Make a log of when insect damage shows up in your area, when diseases show up in your area, and then pick a couple of products that you want to spray early, two to four weeks before the insects show up or before the disease shows up, and that will really stop the damage from taking hold on your plants. Here are a couple of products that I like to use. For tomato plants, you can actually use an aspirin. It's a 325 milligram aspirin, one tablet into a gallon of water. Don't use a coated aspirin because the coating will clog up your sprayer. Just plain old aspirin, 325 milligrams. And when you spray your tomato plant, the salicylic acid in the aspirin mimics a natural hormone the tomato plant has. And what it does is it causes the tomato plant to think that it's being attacked by a fungus or a disease and it initiates the SAR response which is systemic acquired resistance and basically what that means is the tomato is bolstering its defenses to stop a disease or stop an insect attack and if you use the aspirin about every 14 days you're going to make the tomato think that it's being attacked by a fungus and disease and what it does is it really bolsters its defenses so the true insects the true disease that, that may be just around the corner will have a much more difficult time taking hold or damaging your plant. And this really works if you look up tomatoes and aspirin online, you'll find all kinds of extensive, well done research at a scientific level, not just anecdotes. I also get powdery mildew, early blight, and one way to deal with that is to use baking soda. One tablespoon of baking soda in a gallon of water. And what that does is it changes the pH level of your plant leaf. And when the pH level changes on your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplant, it makes it more difficult for the fungus to reproduce and get hold of a leaf. And then it doesn't multiply, it doesn't spread. I wanna say at this point, even if you're getting a recipe from me, from a book, millions of people have used it, always test spray. So whenever you make a spray, spray a couple of leaves, wait 48 hours, and then if there's no damage, spray the rest of your plants. So the baking soda works, again, by changing the pH level. One tablespoon per gallon of water, and just spray as a prevention every 10 to 14 days uh, based on rain. More rain, you gotta spray a little bit earlier. But that will really help prevent powdery mildew from taking hold, and it does really slow the early blight from getting onto my tomato plants. The other treatment that I use a lot is neem oil with some soap, and I've showed you videos on why you need to use soap with oil sprays. The neem oil has a chemical in it called azadiractin, and when sprayed onto the leaves, it won't harm other insects except for chewing insects. So for instance, once it's dry, bees can land on it, it's not gonna hurt them. It's only going to harm chewing insects. And that chemical shuts down and messes with the digestive system of the chewing insect and it will die in a couple of days. And right now when I look around, I can see a white butterfly flying around. That is the butterfly that lays the eggs for the green cabbage looper that will devastate your kale, your broccolis, your cauliflower, cabbages, collards. So if you spray ahead of time, two to four weeks before that butterfly starts showing up in your area, you're gonna really control the damage. And why is this important? Because most of us, if we keep a journal, we'll know when powdery mildew shows up, we'll know when leaf spot comes, we'll know when early blight comes, we'll know when insects show up. So spray ahead of time and you're not reacting to damage. You're not looking at holes and saying, oh my goodness, the green cabbage looper's here. Um, oh, I've got spots all over my tomato plant or powdery mildew on my cucumbers. If you spray preventively, you will get a much bigger harvest and it makes sense. It's very, very hard to do. Um, I don't do it all the time. I get busy or I get distracted, but I just wanted to go over prevention. It's a great way to really stop diseases from getting onto your plants. And one quick last tip is here's my tomato plants. Notice I'm taking leaves off the bottom and I've mulched the container. And you do this more, more so for ground plants, but you can do it for con container plants. This is a splash barrier. The wood chips cover the soil so spores will have a more difficult time, disease spores, splashing up onto the leaves. And removing the bottom leaves makes it you know, harder for the splash to reach the leaves. Most diseases start on the bottom leaves and then work their way up the plant. So I hope this gives you some idea to think about preventing disease or insect attacks 
early, two to four weeks before those insects and diseases will show up in your garden. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.